In this video, we're going to prove by induction that 1 over 2 factorial plus 2 over 3 factorial plus 3 over 4 factorial plus dot, 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 up to n over n plus 1 factorial is n plus 1 factorial take away 1 over n plus 1 factorial. OK, so first thing, step one, prove is true for n equals 1. So left hand side would be saying 1 over 1 plus 1 factorial. Uh, so that's 1 over 2 factorial, which is 1 over 2. The right hand side would have us saying 1 plus 1 factorial, take away 1 over 1 plus 1 factorial. So that's 2 factorial, take away 1 over 2 factorial, which is 2 take away 1 over 2, which is 1 half. And so the left hand side equals the right hand side, so it is true for n equals 1. Stage 2. Assume that it's true for n equals k. So we'd be saying that the sum of n over n plus 1 factorial from n equals 1 up to k is equal to k plus 1 factorial take away 1 over k plus 1 factorial. OK? That's what we'd be saying. Right. So that's our assumption. So step 3. We need to prove that it's true for n equals k plus 1. So we need the summation of n over n plus 1 factorial from n equals 1 up to k plus 1, which is equal to the summation of n over n plus 1 factorial from n equals 1 to k plus the k plus 1th term, which is k plus 1 over k plus 1 plus 1, so k plus 2 factorial. Now, by our assumption, this is equal to this. So k plus 1 factorial take away 1 over k plus 1 factorial. And we're adding on k plus 1 over k plus 2 factorial. Okay, so this is what we have to work with. Okay, now what we want to show is that the sum of n over n plus 1 factorial from n equals 1 up to k plus 1 is actually equal to um, substituting k plus 1 in for the n, we would have k plus 2 factorial take away 1 over k plus 2 factorial. That's what we want to show. That's what we want to arrive at. OK? We want to simplify this down to that. OK. So, in order to uh, get to that stage, I need to add these two fractions together. So I need to get a common denominator. What we need to be clear on is what k plus 2 factorial is. So k plus 2 factorial is equal to k plus 2 times by k plus 1 times by k times by k minus 1, uh, so k minus 1 times etc. all the way down to 1. So this is, all of that is k plus 1 factorial. So k plus 2 factorial is the same thing as k plus 2 times k plus 1 factorial. So if I multiplied top and bottom of this fraction by k plus 2, I would get the same denominator for both fractions. So I'm going to multiply everything on this fraction by k plus 2. wasn't it? OK. So k plus 2 factorial times k plus 1, remember, is just k plus 2 factorial. So we've got the k plus 2 factorial there from that term. We've got take away the k plus 2. 
Remember, this is now over k plus 2 factorial. And because I've got this fraction plus this fraction, the denominator is the same, so I can just add the numerators. So I can add on k plus 1. So I've got that plus that over the k plus 2 factorial. So I've got k plus 2 factorial. And we've got take away k plus k, so the k's cancel. Minus 2 plus 1 is minus 1. And that is precisely what I wanted. And so it is true for n equals k plus 1, assuming n equals k is true. So um, to conclude then, as it is true for n equals 1, and if true for n equals k, then it is true for n equals k plus 1. So it is true for all n greater than or equal to 1. And thereby completes the proof.